What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm going to show you on how to make an active ragdoll for your character. Uh, also physical animations, you know, you know, basically the uh, type of movement that um, Gambis or Human Full Flat um, has in its games, right? It's like uh, animations by like physics on top of them, which makes it looks really cool. So today I'm going to go ahead and show you. So actually I have made this a uh, lot of times before also for my epic Mega Jam submission. You can uh, take a look. Uh, uh, in the description below but now let's start with the tutorial it's gonna be very easy to follow so let's get started all right so the first thing that we are going to do is open our third person um uh, blueprint character so let me just open it and when it has uh opened what we're going to do is go into components and i'm gonna add a new one which is gonna be called physical let's just load okay uh physical animation all right uh, let's go ahead and edit in all right there we go uh name it how you want it's gonna leave it like this and on here we're gonna have our first value which is gonna be our strength multiplier because so uh the more strength the more um uh, like the animation is gonna look so the less the more faces it's gonna add and the more strength the more rigid it's gonna look so i'm just gonna bump this up into five uh, just to have a bit more of control but anyway all right so the first thing that we are going to need is to get our uh, mesh into here and then our physical animation we're gonna drag it on here so we're gonna drag it from our uh, physical animation i'm gonna say it's set skeletal mesh component okay and here we're gonna say to be the mesh also i'm gonna do this in the begin play so just add a begin play so when it just starts the game and uh, we will tell the physical animation component that um uh our mesh is the skeletal mesh uh which is the body uh is basically that one okay so we have a reference all right, so the next thing is gonna drag again the physical animation uh, component is gonna be uh, apply uh, physical animation settings below. Okay, so now we can just drag this in. And so basically, what we want first of all is to have a um, like a root name uh, bone. Sorry. So what we can do is just check our um, character mannequins uh, me uh, meshes, and we can go ahead and open the SK mannequin skeleton. Of course, you can use any character that you want. Uh, like for example, my epic game gem submission, I just added to my own character that I made in Blender or whatever, so it really doesn't matter. So when you open it up, we can see on the skeleton tree all the uh, bones that we have. And you can see, first of all, we have the root bone, but of course that one is not the one that we want. What we want is the uh, nearest one, which uh, in my case is the pelvis. It might, for you, maybe you're using like another type of uh, skeleton, it might be like hips or something, but around pelvis or hips, uh, you know, you, basically the closest one uh, after the root. So now what we can do, you set here, um, pelvis, like this, exactly like it is in the, um, bone so you know because it's a name by reference and then what we're going to do is basically uh, get this and then uh, make a physical animation data okay and this we can just drag it on here and we are gonna uh, place all these settings for our uh, you know uh, rigid body animations and stuff on here so first of all, uh, for now, I'm just going to leave a circle animation. Uh, so first of all, the orientation strength, I'm going to put it something as a thousand. Uh, the angular velocity strength around a hundred. The position strength around a thousand. And then this one at a hundred. Uh, now the max linear force and max uh, uh, angular force, we can just leave them as um, zero. Okay, sorry. So now what we have to do is um, one last thing well that's actually two more last things that we have to do um, which basically we have to get our mesh and we have to set all bodies below simulate physics okay because we, we of course we want to um, have all the bones to basically um, be simulating physics because it's not it, it will not work so uh, we're just gonna disable include self and just put the uh, new simulator here and the new bone name Actually, what you're gonna do use here is right click in the one that we said before and just promote to variable and just gonna name it a uh, bone So now we can just drag it on sorry drag this on here and then we can use it also on here So we're gonna have to start uh, creating values Let's compile and I don't know if it uh, has yeah, so it has always uh, pelvis in there Okay, so now we have to do one more last um, thing and it's just go into the mesh on here in components and just we have to go down 
into the collision and when it says uh, collision presets we can use uh, search for pawn okay and then after setting the mesh to you know uh, be a collision preset uh, of a pawn we have to just go into the capsule component and in uh, collision presets set it to be uh, ignore only pound okay so we uh, it will ignore the pound there we go uh also i have uh just changed real quick i mean the cut anyway i was just filling with the settings uh so uh the cool ones that i found is a thousand on orientation strength 100 in angular velocity strength uh position strength a thousand velocity strength 100 and then max linear force and max linear force into 102. all right so now we can compile and save and press play you can see how the physical animations is looking guys so 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 cool and if we were to place on our character like uh, for example the one that i did in the epic mage jam something like that uh you will see that it you know it will look better like a more cartoony character it will fit better of course but you can see with the even the mannequin is pretty cool to play with so yeah guys that was the tutorial if you enjoyed it please like and subscribe i would really really appreciate it also leave a comment with other unreal engine 5 tutorials that you want to see in the future and now yes with all that said bye bye